What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with another episode of our Thrones of Britannia campaign as Wessex. And in the last episode we went to war with East Engel and, uh, and their vassals here. And we had a big old battle down here and we beat Guthrum with the King's army. Alfred has increased his reputation and uh, we took a few like little uh, settlements as well. We took St. Albans and this place here. But we did lose uh, Hunterdom and we may lose Bed uh, Baden Ford as well, which isn't the end of the world. We can come come back from that, um, but yeah. So we'll and oh, and London's under a siege. I didn't. I think I remember seeing this, but I can't remember. But we'll uh, carry on the campaign and uh, we'll see whether we can push out East Engle of the places they've taken. And we need to beat this army now. So that is Alfred's next uh, objective, really, to go north. Probably beat this army, then beat this one, and then. Uh, We'll see what happens. While well, the rest of the armies can kind of just run free now, because I mean, all their armies are kind of just dotted around. I presume here, they may have another one up here in Norwich, but I don't know. But anyway, we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. So thank you guys anyway for all the support while they just attack and take Badenford. Yes, right. So thank you for all the support anyway on um, the recent episodes of this channel and just all all the other vids as well. And um, keep it up with your likes and subscribes and comments. And uh, let's see how far we can get with the channel. And I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, Let's Play. I know uh, Thrones of Battalion is not necessarily everyone's favourite uh, Total War game, but I'm slowly warming to it. I'm enjoy I do enjoy the period. Um, piety and Prosperity. So I presume that just gives us... Oh, plus three public order, construct costs and income for churches for three turns. Okay, well, I'll remember that. War declared some people, not that I need to worry about, and then we've built some stuff. And regional traditions we've done as well. Okay, so we'll do our tech first. Civic, um, I could do public order. Um, I think I will, because I need to kind of just go down here, because I want to get to this income one. Because it's apparently the last one. Reinforcement range, ah. That could be kind of handy. Right, so, I could attack I th well, the first thing I'm going to do is just walk in here and just take this. So be it. Yeah, occupy. There we go, taking that. Right, yeah. now I could Can't be done. certainly attack them. I could probably have a... S in good order. That's annoying that uh, there's a bridge there, because otherwise I could have possibly got a bridge battle. I don't know if it would have actually uh, triggered one, but we you never know. Um, we have a upgrade for this guy, so I'm going to put on Quartermaster for... Extra uh, campaign range, which does mean he can still reach here. Spear armed host, 16 against all theirs. So I'm probably going to. I say I'm going to attack that, but yeah, I probably should. Deal with their armies and then we can. Yeah, they're going to just fall back. I had a feeling they would. And we'll just keep marching on them. I'm going to keep this army in the city for now and I'll probably recruit a few more troops, probably some cheap stuff. Um, I'm going to put on uh, Bard for replenishment, so these guys are replenishing quicker. Um, a few Axemen are pretty handy, we'll get all of them, and I don't really want to get Searle Javelin, and I'd rather, I like my archers, so I mean we've got a shortage in archers, but that's fine. And I'm going to go to this bridge here, I know, I know we should probably stay inside to get more replenishment but hey these guys will be fine I just want to kind of like this army can deal with this this one can sweep in and take Hunter Dunn back and then we can kind of just march I'm gonna move Alfred up to well how far can they reach they can reach Northampton or Na Northampton I'm gonna move to I'm gonna move to here so they've got a I think they have to Oh no, they can go that way around and attack. But I mean, if they come this way to like try and come after more undefended settlements, they can try, but they'll fail. And they can't get far enough to get to St. Albans, so we'll be okay there. The men have um, this one's probably just going to carry on going down like this sort of like little path here. So just go from one to the next to the next until we get to Colchester, then we'll siege that out. It's got a decent garrison, but not great. Uh, and that's kind of it. We'll just, oh, we've got skills available. Leof Stan, you're a governor, right? Um, 
Your Lois is pretty good. I'm not too worried about that. Forager. Bard. Scribe. I'll go with Scribe. There we go. And then you are a governor as well. Uh, your loyalty is okay. It's not great, but it's not awful. And we'll go with Forager, I think. Get more food. There we go. Uh, we'll end the turn. And we'll see what happens in glorious Britain. Who will do what? Uh, here we go. I had a feeling they might do this. Had a feeling. And yeah, we'll fight this. I think it's pretty even. Um, this is Gunnar. Apparently, oh, he's... Is he faction heir, possibly? Or is he king now? Not really sure. But we'll fight this. Um, cavalry, they have more. Archers, they have more. Well, if you count the Javis. They've not got... They've not got great stuff. I think we can win that. Just play defensive and then we just encircle where we can. So that will be the aim of this... Or the aim of this battle anyway. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield um, and when we've all set up. So we're back on the battlefield and the plan is to do a front line here of melee troops. Well, not a front line because I have my archers out in front. But a uh, front line of troops with Royal Thanes, Earl Thanes, Saix Warriors and Fjords. Uh, Fjord Axemen will have our archers out in front of them. Which don't go as far as I'd have liked them to. But hey. Yeah, that'll do. Um, and then we'll put three of our Searl Spears this side. That's a little bit too long. There we go. And then two on this side. This side can be supported by Cav. They can kind of hide in the forest if needs be. And the general can just kind of just sit back there. And we'll start the battle. And we'll hope and pray that we can beat this army. And let's see. I mean, we've seen their armies before. And they're weird blue. Why would you ever dress in this colour? I mean, they look quite cool in their furs, but these long axemen we're going to have to, like, deal with. I mean, cavalry's going to be huge. If we can get their cavalry stuck in melee, they've got Thane horses on this side. Oh, two, no, Thane horses and scouts. If they can get stuck in combat against spears, that'll be great. My cavalry does outnumber all of theirs on this side. But I'm not sure whether I'm too pleased with that. I hear him shouting. Alright, oh, they're just shooting each other. Yeah, archers, just shoot these guys. You need to charge us, sir. You were the ones that made the attack order. I'm not coming near you. Yes, yeah, lots of spears. I mean, this is it's a crap army put together. I mean, mine's not much better either. I really need to uh, upgrade my cell spears if possible. I don't know if it is possible to get like uh, an upgrade for them, but that would be very handy right now. But right about now. Not really sure what wants me to do. I could move my spears ever so slightly. I don't care. Oh, my archers are breaking. That's no surprise. My archers seem to break every single flipping time we fight. Let's move the spears forward, see if that just angers these cab a bit to dare to charge. No, their general's moving though. Gunnar Warlords champions. No, but they're pulling back. Not a fan of that. Okay, here comes the cav. Just gonna form back into fall back into our main formation, see what happens. I'm just scared by the thing horsemen, they're actually kinda good. Are they gonna attack? Well, we're breaking more of their archers than they're breaking of ours now. Oh, well I say that as more return. Here we go, here we go. Here comes the advance. Um, well, I'm going to put all of these guys in the shield wall. 
as the clash begins. I'm a bit worried, I won't lie. This is going to be a huge battle. Okay, they're, not, they're only getting closer. For throw more stuff, right? There we go. Form shield wall. Oh, that's going to be brutal. Okay, I'm not really sure what it's wanting me to do. I'm not going to just charge in just stupidly. I'll keep up the skirmish for as long as possible. Just form shield wall if needs be. Don't want to lose men unnecessarily. Yep, you're just going to stand there and take some shots, it's fine. Just keep going, just keep getting killed. Yep, they, I don't know what they're really doing. I'm going to be aggressive with my cav on this side. Because I can't wait around. I'm not waiting around for these guys. Let's see if this will anger them. They've got one Thane on this side and we've got one Thane on this side, but we have two scouts. I just... The AI has been very passive and I'm not happy with that. I was hoping that they'd just charge in. Here we go, their cab's moving now. Here we go, they're now sending in everything. That's perfect. Well, I say they are. They're getting closer again. They're not actually sending in. God damn it. Stop just... Stop doing stupid things! Let's break these guys. They're gonna surely get killed off quite quickly. Yeah, losing decisively, that's gonna be huge. Don't know what the AI is doing here, but I'm keeping an eye on it. I know they've got another cavalry unit here. They're sending the other scout horsemen across the entire battlefield and sending this one in. Bit bizarre, I won't lie. Um, I mean, we're gonna break these. Perfect, right. Just hold the line. Sir Larch, just to shoot anything back there. Uh, shoot, uh, shoot Anglian Raiders. They're just gonna also just stay there, that's fine. Um, let's just kill these ones now. Kill these horsemen. They're sending everything in piecemeal by piecemeal, so that's fine. Um, we're just gonna send you guys in because you could look like you could do some support. That's the Sex Warriors could definitely do a support. Um, let's just put the spears like that. See if that'll help. Our general's under attack. Well, I think we won that fight as well. Well, this oh, Thane horseman here. Well, I'm, that's a little bit too close to the enemy. I'm. I'd rather you know just come back. Come back to here. Yeah, that's a bit stupid. You nearly had us. You nearly had us. Oh, they're not quite broken, but they're basically redundant now. So now we outnumber them in cav, and we're surrounding them slowly. Can we do that? Well, you're not going to do it because you're not in shield wall. You are in shield wall. Um, let's just keep moving these spears around. We are gradually breaking all that stuff. Here we go. Right. Just get a charge off. Get a charge off. Yeah, we should break all these. Um, yeah, the, the spears. Right. We can. You can come out of shield wall. You can come out of shield wall now. You can all go into shield wall. Um, God, it's stressful as hell. Right, go like so. Go like so. I'm going to force these guys round. Out, f see if we can catch them. I doubt it, because the AI will be just like, yep. Yeah. Because it's stupid. Right, um, surround all these guys. There we go. Cavalry, did you win that fight? You did. Brilliant. What's left here? Oh, it's a small unit scout horseman. Um, yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. Cell spears. Oh, you got them. Nice. Um, nice, nice, nice. You should break these guys then. And they're scout horses. Yeah, they're, they're going to lose this sizably. Brilliant. Oh, this could be. It's going to be huge. We're going to win another huge battle. What are you doing here? Oh, you've run out of ammo. Yeah, don't. 
attack. There's no point. Um, just charge into the back there. Who are you? Oh, you're Soul Spears. Okay, yeah, you're fine being here. Get out, get out, get out. That's Sword Herdman. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, actually encircle all these guys here. Surely we're going to kill all these guys. Um, yep, yeah, perfect. Archers, if you're going to shoot at anyone, shoot at guys back there. Like jabbies. Shoot at something actually handy. Um, Cav, you might as well just chase down this sort of stuff. Um, actually, just make it scout Cav and this guy. Thane, Thane's going here. Perfect. Surround these guys, surround these guys. Well, I think that's a pretty good battle. We've just got a pretty damn good victory there. You surround them. Excellent. These Sword Herbin are pretty damn nasty though. I won't lie. It's a route. Oh, our main fleet. Well, they're still archers. They're replaceable. You don't need even many archers in this battle. Oh, so uh, can you run away? Apparently not. Oh, apparently you're gonna break them anyway. Wow. Wow, I did not see that coming. Um, charge them. Oh, actually, no, don't charge them. Get out of combat. Where is that Thane Horseman? Oh, okay. I don't know if they were winning that fight. They certainly aren't now. Let's just turn around and charge again. Enemy General is dead. Excellent. That is definitely going to wrap up this battle. Perfect. Break these guys. Break these guys. Javis. Who's left standing then? Oh, it's a cavalry. There you go. It's all broken now. Excellent victory. End the battle. There's too much stuff. Decisive victory. Too much stuff running around for me to care about that. So, well done to uh, Airfold. He's finally got himself... I mean, he's probably got an extra one. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, our Earl Thanes there did insane. Actually, so did our, like, Royal Thanes. I mean, just everything was pretty damn good. Take on Warriors to save that damage and now we'll uh, see what happens that's definitely the wrong way of the map but hey we'll sort that out in a minute that might just sort itself out but I mean it's now whether they're fight yet oh no I was thinking they might attack and just finish us but I don't think they could because they're certainly not strong enough to let's see what happens don't know what my vassal's doing here Maybe he's just patrolling the waters, making sure everyone's everyone's nice and safe. <laughs> um, war declared. Glissich and Vassalize will eliminate Glissich. Oh, they declared war on me. Oh, it's not my vassal. Or were they my vassal at one point? I think they were. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll raise some sort of a host. Um, we're going to have to send an army back, aren't we? Um, actually, if I saw set a war goal, um, diplomacy, set war goals for... I, I think they were a vassal of mine. Maybe. Who knows? Um, set war goal, just take that. And then I'll raise an army. I mean, I'm, they're going to take some of this stuff back. I'll take some of this stuff. If I raise another... I could raise another army. What is available, actually, before I... Well, how far can you reach? The King's army would probably be the ones that could reach and do stuff. You're still miles away. Yeah, there's no point. Might as well just take Badenford. Carry on the advance here. I'll raise another army and do, do some damage to them that way. There we go. You can take Hunt and Dunn. Perfect. I could probably route this army. 
Resolute with the Resolute Wall. Okay, they're actually beating me to what I was wanting to do. God damn it. Um, vassals. Um, let's go there. English Courage. We'll rate, route this army. Yeah, now they're in more of a trouble. Uh, we'll also resolve this one. Stab him in the face. Take on warriors. Cool. And then move towards taking that. That is your aim. Your aim for this battle. Alright, skills available. Biot trick. Um, siege engineer, please. Because you're in the area where they're going to be possibly sieging us. Um, Horrorth Ward. Um, you're also a governor. So let's put you on scribe. Please. And then we'll raise an army in the south at this spot here. Um, loyalty 3, Airfwald. Hmm. He's okay. And he will cost nothing, actually, so that's probably for the best. So we'll do that, and then we're going to put in Earl Thane, so that'll be huge. That's huge. Some Cell Spears. We'll take all of them. We'll take all of their uh, Long Axemen, and we'll take some Scout Horsemen as well. And that's all our money. And that's hope they. I don't think they can... Oh, they can land and take that. That's annoying. It's a mining place as well. I'd like to keep that. So war goal. Hopefully, Gwent will go in and take all this stuff for me, because that's be that'll be very nice if Gwent could do that. Um, I don't think there was anything else that needed doing. No, I don't think don't think there was. Um, is there any armies that needed to move? I'm not sure. Could Alfred's army move more? No, it's just on very. It's just pretty strong. Okay, Hengist Legacy. That's a uh, yeah, that's an okay name. Where's the gold? I have a few armies now. I have one or two, don't I? Um, but yeah, we'll keep it annexing all this, and we'll, we'll end the turn, and we'll get more money out of that, so we can then put it into else elsewhere. I don't know whether that army will attack us. They may not. Depends where they come in the order. If we take one of their settlements, they may decide to turn back. We have got vassals now helping out. Yeah, they turned back. That's good. Smart of them. Yeah, they're attacking there. They actually lost. Wow. I think. They destroyed the army. I don't think they've taken the region. Okay, so Gwent needs to build a new army. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've, my vassals are going to save the day. I'm going to keep a small army there now. Counter their work. This man is unhappy. He's using his golden influence to sway others against you. Counter. Yeah, counter that. We'll spend some money and do the da undo the damage. Um, we'll siege this down... Um, that'll do. We'll send in the King's Army. Well, the King's Army can stay there for one turn, I guess. And then you can start sieging down Colchester. There we go. Don't know if you can do anything more. No, that's fine. You can take that. And then the 7th Army here can just kind of... Uh, that's... There we go. The trade route. And then you can move on to Elig. In the next turn. So that's probably going to be it. I can now spend some money on economy. Oh, I've got low loyalty. Your trick. I might need to spend money on this first. It's going to cost a thousand. Uh, what is he? Is he a general? Yes. No, he's not. He's a governor. Well, I'm kind of fine then. I mean... He's on two. It's not the end of the world yet. I bet he's... He's not got a skill either. Alfred can have... Alfred can have siege holdout times for stuff. So that'll be good. And this is a governor. He's okay loyalty. So we'll put in... Hmm. Hmm. Put in scribe as well. That'll help with that. Um, and then I kind of want to spend money on some building stuff for once, because I've been putting a lot into uh, the army at the moment. A lot into the army. Um, right, no, can't spend anything in here. Worham, no. Nope. I imagine it's going to be the case that I can't really spend much. Oh, Eben, you can, though, so that's fine. Have a potter. A great potter. Yeah, but now we've got an army of seven here. This will do, this will hold. 
hold for a little while. Um, yeah, you could get some stuff, but I don't really want you to have jabbies. Yep, that's fine. Um, we'll end the turn. And we'll see what happens. East Engel is bringing up some tiny little armies. I mean, they, I've destroyed two of their armies, and it's going to take forever to, for them to get those good elite units back. I don't know where... Oh, I needed to really have... Um, see, they're just killing them off now. I need to send a, set another war goal. I need to make this place a war goal. Um, but yeah, poor Gwen. It's just like getting armies killed like straight. North Leod, Connacht, an Intriguer. Oh, that's not good. Um, right, so let's just set a war goal before I forget. So we'll put that on there. The Welsh hate me. They really do. Um, what's this? The upcase cost for sword. Oh, it goes up. Well, I don't. I'm not really a fan of that. Then there's no real need to go across here for a while. Then. Um, is there one to improve cell spears? Yeah, this does. Fjord spearmen. Right. Well, we're going to go across here then. Spearmen now. Um, does, and what does this do? Fjord. Select. Unlock select feared arches. Oh, cool. Replace the cell arches with feared arches. Well, we might need to do that one because our arches are pretty awful. I'm going to spend some money on a bit of economy. So that will put damage it a lot, but I'm kind of okay with that because this is pretty happy here. That's fine. Um, well, a lot of people got some, uh, some abilities though. General, I'm going to put in... Champion. Yep, that's fine. Ethelhelm, he's a general as well. We'll put him on champion as well. He can go and take Elig now. Yeah, just take that. Occupy, lovely. I think that's basically an annihilated this faction. Um, 16. Yeah, we can just auto resolve this. Stab him in the chest. And then that's that faction gone. Lost a bit, but that's not the end of the world. Now, the King's Army, I think, should be able to move on. Yes, it can. I'm going to just tell it to move on to St. Albans, and it can take that this turn. No, it's not. St. Edmunds. St. Edmunds, not St. Albans. There we go. Take that. Huge advances now into uh, Mercia. Not Mercia, East Engle. Um, what is this? Traits gained. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, skills available. Ethelwald, he's a general. We'll give him um, Bard, so it helps with his upkeep. Not his upkeep, um, replenishment. Damage building. What's damage? Oh, okay, damage building's here. Um, yeah, just repair all this, I guess. I can't afford to. Damn it. Um, and we need a destroy destroy these apparently in the villages well we'll spend our money on that next turn I guess uh, the skills available Wiglaf he's a governor we'll put him on scribe there we go so we're making a little bit more money we are probably actually at our lowest in income for any point I don't yeah I'm just gonna leave that there Colchester that's fine We'll send uh, one of these armies out to go and deal with that, or help out in that next time. Probably this one, if it can reach. If not the King's army. Certainly. So we'll end the turn, I think, and we'll see what happens. And then we'll... The King... Well, not the King. Who's... I don't even know who that is. That's just some small, tiny army that no one cares about. But we could soon be able to march on Norwich. They're running out of uh, walled settlements. They just did the same thing again to Gwen. Poor Gwen. Gwen sending an army, just like, yeah, we'll we'll save the day. We'll take we'll take the settlement for you, and uh, <laughs> and then they've just gone and done that in the north of Britannia. And then oh god, what? There's Viking raiders all the way over there, and in it creeps is doing okay. Inertia creeps. There's going to be another one appearing here. Okay, so there's actually going to be one near Ally Mobilizers against and then is that Mercia? Mercia's done that. Okay. Right. So, damage building. We'll repair this. 
repair that. Let's convert this to a bit of that and convert this to. I could just knock this down. This it will provide zero gold from knocking it down. Um, Elig. Um, no, we'll, I'll, I'll repair it in time. Governance available for this area. Okay. Our loyalty's not great for you, sir, but we'll sort that out in time. Um, I'll put you in to the governance. Oh, it's going to cost a lot. I'd rather spend that money elsewhere. Hmm. Stay the course, indeed, I agree. Can you reach? You can reach, nearly. Don't know if that would actually help. I'm going to put you there anyway. Can you reach? And will that help? No. I don't know. Yes, it will. They are just in range, so we'll take that. Take Colchester from them. Execute this man. I could liberate and make East Saix and they become my military ally. But I'm not interested in that. I want land for myself. Uh, repair and repair. And there we go. We've got all. We've got this whole area now, East Saix. That's yeah. That wall's damaged, but hey, you can't live. You've got to live with that. Um, they can go after Theodfold. You can just, I guess, can go. Can go that way. Try and attack this army. They won't stay. They did what? <laughs> and and laugh. You you're gonna die, mate. There you go. He's been cut down, and killed. What a why would he stay? He could have probably got out and saved his general. Oh well. Oh, well, you're not going to get much for that. Um, I guess I can repair... Oh no, it's governors, isn't it? Well, I've not really got any money to spend on that other stuff, so I'll put it... Put this... This guy on... There. Well, I'm selecting you. There you go. Oh, his loyalty is awful. He's not great either. That's blooming useful. Um, so, governors, we'll, well, we'll improve these next turn. So, it's going to cost a thousand for you, and I'm sure it'll cost a bit less for you. Six hundred, yet, yeah, because we've not had to do it with you yet. So, we'll do that next turn, or probably in the next episode, actually, because we are hitting the half hour mark. So, if you guys have enjoyed, then please do leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you. But guys, have been enjoying the uh, Let's Play. We're, we've nearly finished East Engel off now. The huge battle there was uh, decisive in probably just just wrapping this up, this ca uh, little campaign up. After that, we probably will be going north, probably going after this faction here, and then off after um, Northumbria um, as well, I imagine. Um, oh, who's this? This is just... Actually, I actually have no idea. Oh, this, okay, so this is, looks like it might be Wessex's capital. <laughs> Not Wessex, is um, Mercy's capital. And uh, it's under siege from rebels and the Welsh. Never good. Oh, brilliant. Uh, so I'll have to deal with that in the next turn. I'm just seeing they have the white horse there. That's cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed them, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. And I'll, until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you.